Kiss the Girls, rated R, now playing everywhere. Look, neither of us wanted this. We'll just, you know what I said, get married. Actually, Declan, you're not gonna believe this. What? No, I have good news. Um, the whole thing was like a false alarm. You're kidding. <sighs> yeah, can you believe it? Oh my God. Oh, God. You must be so relieved. Yeah, yeah, I am. So you have nothing to worry about. Wow. Close call, huh? So, I really like you, Rachel. Are you taking chemistry with Mr. Hayes? Yeah, how'd you know? Because he made us read that book, The Strange Story of the Atomic Element. Yeah. It's not even really that strange. Yeah, it wasn't. <laughs> yeah, so I'm really sorry, Rach. I thought I could get the 50, but... Wow. Okay. God, I'm such a jerk. I hate myself. Why? Got this tattoo Friday night. But I didn't use all the money. I still have, like, ten. Great. So, what is it? It's a cockatoo. What about Declan, though? I mean, shouldn't he? Yeah, but it's complicated. Why? I mean, he knows, doesn't he? Yeah. He keeps saying we should get married. Wow. What are you going to do? Father Ray, I'm not here for confession. I just want to talk. Okay. You know, you said that I should follow my conscience. So if my conscience tells me to have an abortion, are you going to be there for me? What do you mean? I still need $150. And I don't make that much here, so can you lend it to me? <sighs> Rachel. Uh, or will you give me a ride to the clinic? No. I can't, won't do any of those things. Well, then what good are you? You know, it's so easy. It's so easy for you to just sit there and say, follow your conscience. But you just get to stay above it all. I'm, I'm the one who, who has to do something about it. I'm the one who has to go there by myself. I'm the one who has to find the money. I can't just sit here and feel all clean and good about myself. God, you're never going to have to make this choice, but I have to. I don't want to, but I have to. So where are you going to be? Rachel. What? Sit down, please. Sit down, please. Look, you can yell at me all you want, but I can't take this burden off you. I know you're lonely. I know you're scared. I know that. You're facing your conscience. You've been stripped bare of everything else, but it's just you and God now. There's nothing I can do to change that. That is so cold. Two cups? Two cups of what? Whatever you're having. I don't think you like what I'm having. I deduce that you're having coffee because you like coffee. You like it at night because it keeps you up. Makes it easier to brood. No, Ray, you're the deep thinker around here. Just a poor, simple old man having a cup of tea. Yeah, there's everything you need? Oh, I'm fine, Mom. Want some soda? Uh, yeah, that'd be good. Orange or cream? Oh, you have orange? Yeah, she made me go out and buy some. What are you doing here, Sid? You're giving up after 15 years of marriage. Mom, um, it's complicated. Without even seeing a counselor. I have no problem with counseling. I see couples coming to the church for counseling. But Francis and That's I... That's another thing. You have nothing against counseling, and we have nothing against the church, but we didn't raise you to become a religious fanatic. Dad. 
Uh, doing bookkeeping at a church doesn't make me a religious. Sid, man. those people have a way to get into your head. Well, don't worry. I still don't believe in anything. I like to be around people who do. You guys believe in therapy. Where's the unconscious? Who, who's ever seen it? Where's the proof for the unconscious? What about the great art of the world? It was inspired by God. You know, just for argument's sake. Hey, I'm still your son. I still only believe in the great lost causes of history. The Brooklyn Dodgers, the Beatles reunion, proving the innocence of Julius and Ethel Rosenberg. Your mother and I have some names for you and Francis. Look, don't be offended. This is my life we're talking about. Right? I'm in charge. Fine. You want some more soda before I put it away? The blankets are in the closet. You want two pillows? Is foam okay? When do you want us to wake you up? Oh, so uh, how are things working out at home? The uh, unconditional love thing? Let's just say there's a warm, familiar feeling to the craziness. It's my kind of craziness. Unconditional craziness. <laughs> Actually, they've made it a condition of my staying there that I go into couples counseling, look for a new job. Smart parents. Yeah. So this is my last day here, but it's a joke. I'm only kidding. Don't worry. Sydney, did you lose money from petty cash today? No, my parents have reinstated my allowance. Eric? Uh, no. no. I think we may have had a little theft here. What? Really? Yeah. Should, should we uh, hold the tenants? You know, lock the doors before they can leave? And... Let's not jump to any conclusions, people. Well, at least it wasn't a greedy thief. They only took part of the petty cash. Mm, a socially conscious thief. Must have been the influence of the church. How much is missing? Two hundred? Uh, no, one hundred and fifty. Mm. Uh, was, the, was the drawer unlocked? I think we always leave it unlocked. See, that's too much faith. Even for a church, too much. You're right, Eric. Huh? It's one of the tenants. Leo. I hear you. It's only bad in the mornings. What can I do for you? Let me hear my confession. Nah, you don't want me to hear your confession. You just want me to let you off the hook. <clears throat> Rachel said I could talk to you. Yeah, I know. She said the same to me. I've been avoiding talking to her because... Part of me feels that I'm afraid of what I might say. How can you be afraid of what you might say? Part of me feels that maybe it's not a good idea for her to have this baby now in her life. I know that, Ray. I know a lot about you. You're an open book. Now go on in it. Have an abortion. Well, that's what you've been communicating to her without even saying it. You're giving her permission. You must be. Or I can't believe that she'd be headed toward doing what she seems to be headed toward doing, Ray. You're a priest. Do you ever want children? Do you ever think about what a child of yours would be like? Well, what does that mean? Well, I, just, I don't know. I just... Just talk to me like a person, will you? All right, Ray. No, I've always known I was going to be a priest. But I'll tell you one thing. A child of mine would be obedient. Leo, you're a father, but you're not my father. I got one of those. All right, good. Then let's stop talking about your needs and talk about what poor Rachel needs. And what she needs is somebody to stop her, to tell her what to do. She's begging for it. Why do you think she came to us? This isn't 1957, Leo. 
We don't have to live with those consequences. We don't. She does. All right, I'm just a poor old fading man in 1957. That's not what I said. And you're the pastor of this church. But if you're not going to do your job, I will.